Okay, friends, so I'm back, and I did go thrifting on Thursday. No, I must have went Tuesday. So I'm going to show you what I purchased during the week up to today. And one of the first things that I did purchase, I believe it was Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm not sure. You know me, if it's not stripes, it's blazers. If it's not blazers, it's stripes. I couldn't resist. Then I was looking more toward uh, fall season and winter. I picked up this and I found it in the men's section. I tried it on. I think it looks kind of cute. And of course, I would wear something with a little more fitted top. But I just couldn't resist it. It was too cute. Kind of reminds me of those Irishmen. I really like the color. And uh, I think this is like old because the tag is like faded. I never heard of the brand. Well, I'm not really that familiar with brand, but uh, it was cute. And then I couldn't resist this little patch here either. I was looking at it, I was hoping it wasn't a Harry Potter patch. But right here in the bottom, underneath that P and L or P and C, or maybe it's an R, it says sports. So I don't know. I don't know what that stands for. But anyways, hopefully something cool. So here's what I purchased. A blazer. Yeah, you're probably thinking, oh, you have enough blazers already. Enough of the blazers, but when they just catch my eye and I like them, I just have to buy that. Just had to, had to, had to. And then, now this is from last year. Yeah, this is from last year. I took this out of my um, my spring wardrobe. And I like the color, so I thought I'd buy something of the same color. I wore this in my... Um, spring cleaning my uh, organizing my pantry video and it was really nice and it's very light so it's made in India dress barn it's really I really like this it's so it's like a nice light little cover up to put and I imagine using it with a lot of things so it's pretty long it's got a nice good coverage I like it and this was five dollars there was no sale for this so this was $5. Oh, I forgot to say that this was $5, but there was 25% off of this blazer, so it was even cheaper than the five. Okay, so I got this. I'm trying to incorporate some more colorful colors into my wardrobe. And then the main reason I went to the thrift store that day is because I'm finishing up my son's restroom I'm not doing too much in the restroom but I at least w wanted to do some little decorative pieces maybe I want to get like some nice artwork for his um, his wall in the restroom anyways that's a different video but I wanted to get some a nice shower curtain and then I thought I've seen before people use drapery for their shower curtain to make their shop their restroom look really nice and I thought this is a nice masculine color look at that I don't know if you can really get it's like a more of a gold could be the Sun's washing it out I think it's like it looks kind of silverish fadish but in real it's like nice and gold and bronze kind of a color and of course even though this is a set because you need two they sold them separate so this one was uh, ten dollars as well as the other one ten dollars so I had to pick up two of course and it looks like doesn't this look like a dry cleaner type of a tag 
I don't know, maybe the dry cleaner dropped it off or I'm not sure. But anyways, I think this is really nice. So another video I'm going to do is um, just redoing my son's. I shouldn't say redoing. I'm just adding a few small touches to his restroom. And uh, I kind of did a little something different in his uh, bedroom as well. So that one I started before my room, but I just haven't finished it yet. And I have less than a week till he comes home. Okay, so this is what I purchased during the week. Some drapes and uh, a shirt. And then yesterday I did a little spring shopping. So I figured I would go by the thrift store just to see what they had. This was yesterday. And uh, I'm surprised that um, there were some things that I liked, but then I kind of looked at it and looked at the cut and stuff and I thought, no, this is probably not gonna look nice, um, nice on me or I kind of analyzed it a little more than what I normally do is just Oh, I like the pattern, so I'll just grab it. I don't think of how it's going to fit on me, how it's going to look on me, those type of things. But I did get a bunch of things, and then I kind of like chose out which ones would be nice, how they would look. So I started, you know, putting things back. So this is what I ended up with. So I got another color. Another salmon color. Well, this is salmon? I don't know. It's like a peach or a salmon. I think it's a salmon color. So I saw this. This is a nice casual. Nice casual shirt. Where can you get nice shirts, reasonable labels for under $3? I think this, and this is a different thrift store from where I purchased the, um, the drapes and those that blazer that one tends to be more expensive than this one they're really reasonable with their clothes so i picked this up and i really like the little mesh right here with it i thought this is cute too little mesh here and i think gray was 50 or 20 percent off so i picked this up so i could add to my spring wardrobe because i don't have many a lot of springy colors. I have more like neutral colors in my wardrobe right now. So I felt I need to go pick up a few pieces, find some pieces that I could wear with for springtime. And a lot of these things I can carry over to um, summer as well. Okay, here's the next piece, that, the next one I found. This one is really sheer, but I figured this is so cute. And it's long and I love the color and this of course I'd wear with a little and it has that little button here what do you call this little strap that you raise up your sleeves I thought this was darling I just love the color and I think it kind of looks good too the color looks good on me so yep so I picked this up um it's like an unknown brand, I'm not sure. Liberty Love and uh, $2.92. So I got this. And I really wanted a pair of jeans that I saw, but because someone took the tag off of it, it wasn't priced, I had to put it back. So I was kind of bummed out about that. Izzy was scratching at the door to come in. And let's see. And then the next one I found, which is 100% Cotton by Hillard and Hansen. I think this is a Kohl's brand. I thought this was kind of nice. I think this is going to be nice and breathable with a pair of jeans. Or maybe if I can find some cute uh, linen pants or something. Even, um, I don't know. I could, oh, I could even put this with my red pants. So this was very nice. Of course, it's hopefully it's one of those type I could just put in the wash and put in the dryer and then um, we'll have to iron it, I hope. And again, this one was $2.42. I thought it was darling. And then this I can carry over to um, fall too. I just had a nice time. Felt good to think, oh, I'm gonna go 
pick up some things for my for the springtime since I didn't have much. Okay, now this couldn't resist this one. This one's from Forever 21. It's a plus size. It's in a 2X. I don't wear a 2X, but I know Forever 21. Their clothes are a little small. And it's strapless, which you guys know me. I'm going to put a little cute sweater that I already have in the closet. And I just couldn't pass up this colors pattern. This color here, just the combo of the colors, what really got me. And the black and white. I thought it was darling. So of course I had to get this. Kind of has a little, what do you call it on the side too? A little opening. So this will be good to carry into summer as well. So this was, did I say how much this was? This was $4.44. Still a great price for under $5. Very good price. And then I went browsing around in the shoe department, minding my own business as usual. And there was quite a few that I couldn't resist. And I was looking for a pair of these exact shoes. Same print. I went to Target looking for a pair. Cause I saw them one time and I didn't pick them up. So I thought, let me go back to Target and add this to my wardrobe. They didn't have them. And what did I see yesterday on the shelf? Made in Brazil. These cute leopard print flats. So cute. They're comfortable too. Uh, it's just called Boutique 58. Made in Brazil. Leather sole. And they were only $2.92. And the shoe all around is so nice and is in good condition. <clears throat> I couldn't pass those up. So then I saw these and I figured, oh, these could, I could use this for like my, those one pair of skinny jeans, um, my stretchy pants, and a couple of my dresses. Aren't these darling? Cute summer sandals. And I love this type of material. And these were ha uh, half off. So it was $4.94, so like $5. So these were like two something. And they're made by Mootsie Tootsie. And the bottom is kind of clean looking too. Looks like it wasn't really that worn. Yeah, kind of looks like it wasn't. And they're comfortable too. Now I can't do high heels, but I can at least do this type of height and at least have a wedge in the bottom. So I can pretty much walk in these. They're not that, I mean, I have bad feet and knees, but I mean, they're not that bad, but I can get around in these cute little things. I do better with uh, a wedge heel than a little um, regular thin heel. And then I thought these would be cute for casual and they're comfortable. I thought they were just cute little slip-ons. And the good thing about them is that they are wide too. They're not like skinny ones. I have a pair that are like really thin. I have two pairs that are thin like this. And they do kind of hurt. They don't really hurt my feet, but you can notice the pressure. It's not properly um, distributed. But these were so cute. I tried them on. I love these things. I thought they were darling. Great condition still. And uh, it's by Artiva. Another made in Brazil. Huh. Um, Artiva. And they were only $3.43. So this was a good buy. So it looks like I was in a 
sandal frenzy. And then the last pair that I thought that were so cute, I haven't had a pair of these since I was a young girl, but they're these type of, these cute little sandals. Look at that. Little wood sandals. And surprisingly, they're very comfortable too. And it's a neutral color, so I can use it with a lot of different things. These ones were $3.93. Let's see there. $3.93. I thought it was a good, a good steal. And I just figured, hey, they have so many good cute sandals right now, which I kind of left in my closet for summer and springtime. And I thought I'm going to take advantage of it and pick up me some cute little sandals, which I did. And then the last thing that I purchased today, I got a notification on Facebook. Yeah, that was yesterday's. I got a notification on Facebook that the local thrift store was doing a 50% off winter, but it wasn't really like, like pants and all those things. It wasn't like a 50% off all clothing. It was just 50% off jackets, sweaters, and coats. They had a real beautiful um, Jones New York leather jacket, which I don't own. I've never owned a leather jacket. It was black. It was pretty but it was small and it was they wanted $20 for it and so half off would have been only $10 and it was said 100% in genuine leather and it was a Jones New York I wish it was bigger but this is what I purchased today the 30th of March let me get my hanger so this, even though it says it was in the winter section, I thought this is cute for spring. And maybe it, it's the color again. I thought this color was cute. The color is cute. The fabric is nice. It's kind of flowy and airy. And putting on like a cute cream or a beige um, undershirt under it would really be cute. Even a gold, I'd probably do like a gold or maybe a silver undershirt if I can find something like that. Uh, like a muscle shirt would be really darling. And um, I want to find me a pair of white pants. So that would be next on the list. And they wanted four for it, so I got it for $2 for the 50% off sale. So I had a lot of clothing that I had. Uh, in my hand and things that I thought would look nice on me, things that I liked, but I did, you know, hold it up to me and this color versus the other shirt that I had that I put back, this one looked really nice on me. So I thought I'd pick it up and put it to use and put it into my spring wardrobe. Put that into that. Okay, and then this I thought I'd buy for fall. It would look nice for fall and for winter time. And I kind of am keeping my eye out for cowl necks. I got a little, I don't want to say, um, one of my sweet friends mentioned to try a cowl neck. My friend Steph. And, um, she mentioned in one of my videos to try looking for a cowl neck and uh, there's a difference when you wear like for me for my face shape when i wear like a turtleneck versus wearing something open like this where it's more open in the bottom it doesn't make my face look you know so this i love i put this up to my face and i, I think color in here i mean the weather is probably bright in this room but I put it up to my face and it, it looked really good on me I like the color so this will be cute with some jeans and um, maybe a nice black skirt as well 
and uh, just some other things I could put with it. Even um, some beige slacks. Remember those Brooks Brothers beige slacks I bought in my other video? This would look cute as a nice casual. And so this one was $4 as well. So I got it for two for half off. This one caught my eye. And I had to get it. Look at this. I, I think I could get away with this um, right now in springtime. I think it'll be too hot in summer. But mostly I bought this to wear in fall, the fall season. I just couldn't resist. Look at the color of the neck. And then this color and this color. And it's a it's a Liz Claiborne. Good old Liz. I find a lot of nice Liz Claiborne in the thrift store. And uh, it was four dollars. So this cute shirt was two dollars out the door. This is gonna look darling. I could see myself wearing this with black slacks, a black skirt, um, even that pretty gray pants I bought too. Those, the Jeffrey Bean slacks I bought a couple of uh, thrift hauls back. This will be really darling. So I can't wait to put this. This I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes with the spring, because right now it's it's been kind of warm. And uh, maybe on a cool day, I could wear this for springtime. I thought it was darling. And then I spotted these things. This is the last thing that I, of my thrift haul. These things I couldn't resist. When I first looked at them, I thought, uh. And then I looked at the color, and then I thought, well, I think I like the buckle after all. I think I like these shoes. And they're aerosols. Aerosols. Oh my goodness, it looks like they've never been worn either. That's weird. Anyways, do it this way. Look at this color. It's the same color as this sweater and this shirt. There's no way I was going to leave these. See, I wouldn't buy these type of shoes, this type of colors. And so just opening up my, my eyes and my mind and trying new things and maybe different looks that I normally wouldn't buy for myself. I think it's darling. I like it. I think it's cute. So... Hey, my journey, trying to find my style and, you know, also learning about um, clothes that how they fit and certain colors, how they look, you know, it's all it's all fun. I, I enjoy doing that and I really am enjoying my closet. So when I do um, when I do an update or a switch out of my closet um, from fall to springtime um, soon, um, I'll show you how my closet looks. I really am liking this idea of having some core pieces that you can interchange and as well having your current season uh, in addition to that core um, in your closet because it doesn't take up much space and I just I just enjoy having my, my pajamas stacked up, my activewear stacked up and just certain things in those buckets and it, it's really working out and I don't know how long it's been, it must be what three weeks that I've done it or maybe a month. I'm enjoying it. So that's going to be the next video to come out is just to do a switch out of the seasons and do like a closet update. And um, so this is part of my spring wardrobe, even though there are a few things that I purchased for fall and winter. Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching. And I got to keep my voice down because Izzy here taking her nap. Oh, here's my other shirt. She's on my shirt. Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!